You, you, out of all of the shiuch who have platforms, you're known for answering fiqh questions very clearly and concisely. Um, and, you know, whether it's on Twitter or elsewhere, even on, on, on the TV, I'd like to ask you, Islamically, Islamically, can Muslim sisters really give lectures in mixed gatherings? Where do we draw the line? And can you give us some dala'il, please? This is, again, something that is quite recent. Because if we go back in time, the most knowledgeable woman of all times was Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. And after the death of the Prophet والسلام, and Abu Bakr and Umar, she had an opportunity to address the whole Ummah. And everybody accepted it because she was their mahram. She was their mother, the mother of the believers. Yet she never addressed them publicly. Which indicates that knowledge is not something that you read. Knowledge is something that you practice. I know that a lot of the sisters nowadays in, in America come and give dawah in a public and mixed environment. And this is unfortunate. They may have their reasons, they may have their justifications, but with all due respect, this defies the purpose of hijab. If I watch a lecture of a sister on YouTube and I have the camera on her face, and she says, well, I'm covering my hair. This is what needs to be covered. And the answer is no. A woman's face is the most beautiful thing in her. When you want to get married, the Prophet ﷺ told a companion of his who came to him and said, oh, Prophet of, of Allah, I proposed to so-and-so sister. He said, did you look at her? And I said, no. The Prophet said, go and look at her because the Ansar have something in their eyes that you may dislike. If the woman was walking uncovered in the streets, the Prophet would not have asked him to do so because the guy can see her and see her eyes. So the face of a woman is aura. The way a woman speaks, her voice is not aura, but Allah mentioned in the Quran that when women speak, they must not soften their voices. And they should be firm because people with illness in their hearts may be, in, may, may be tempted. So when a sister speaks about good deeds and Jannah and the beauty of Islam, would she be serious? Like, and you have to know that Jannah is so beautiful and there are so many things in it, gold, silver, and you will be close to Allah. Or she said, they will be close to Allah and it's so beautiful. And the hur are there. You hear music and you see all these vegetables and fruits coming. And the guy says, ah, okay, I don't know what I want more. You or Jannah. What are you doing, sis? She said, I'm giving da'wah. <laughs> give da'wah. No problem. But give it only to sis, sisters. And don't get recorded. Because shaitan is there. And with all due respect, look how you started like 10 years ago. And look at you now sharing the platform, sharing the stage with other non-mahram men. And he's throwing a joke and you're cracking a joke. And mashallah, tabarakallah. Guys, get a room. What is this? And they say, da'wah. This is for the sake of Allah. And I know that you guys, I know you already hate me for this, so <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Y these conferences, annual conferences of, of organizations they've got, and the free mixing, and the women and men are there attending. So one of the brothers, practicing brother, unfortunately, said to me, yeah, these conferences are good. I said, why? I said, because men get to see women. I said, excuse me? I said, yeah, so that they can get married. 
And who said this? Allah says to lower our gaze. He said, yeah, yeah, but in America, there is difficulty getting the right woman in there. These conferences we can get and see. And you can see things that are not related to Islam. When a munshid come and gives Islamic nasheed and he's treated like uh, uh, Paul McCartney or uh, John Lennon and, and women shout and, and, and scream, what is this? Where are we? And they said, it's an Islamic center, Islamic uh, conference, Sheikh. And this is Islamic nasheed. And he's an Islamic celebrity. So let's go on an Islamic date. All of this is definitely not the Islam that the Quran and Sunnah came up with. So these guys are doing a different new version of Islam that does not fit Islam.